I'm gonna try. Well, I'm Ranger Cookie, and today we gonna make us a video. Now, hey, we do. I'm sorry. Don't, don't hit me. The hat challenge has got to be getting me excited to get in the hat club. Yeah, join the hat club. <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh, this is, without a doubt, Ranger Cookie. The man of danger known as the Ranger. And I'm Donnie Pavlini with Donnie Pavlini Outdoors. What are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about this. These Things that can charge your phone. That can charge your, your phone, phone, your lights, your laptops, your just about anything that you have that has a USB port. port. And you know how <laughs> it is when we're out in the woods and we're away from civilization? We can't bring a ton of batteries with us. Or, no. Or that long of an extension cord. Yeah. Okay. It, I tell you, I, I gotta say, some of these things are really cool. Caught my eye big time. Bob 808 Knight uses one of these. This particular solar panel is the uh, the Gold Zero brand, and it has two very large solar panels, and those things are awesome. I mean, it has all the different kinds of attachments for whether it's a cellular device or a, a light. Like I say. Anything that requires some juice when you're out in the field and has a USB port, this will be invaluable. But, flaws. What's the flaws on these things? As you can see, it's not the sunniest of days here today, so this may not be the best option all the time, but it is a very, very good one. And, it is good. What do we have in here? Well, we have one of those wind up radios with all kinds of little wires and parts for different types of phones. Awesome, one of those hand generators. Extra bag for your phone or whatever you like to bring. Awesome, yep, yep. And an empty bag. <laughs> all right, we got one of these crazy. It's an empty bag. <laughs> we got one of these chargers. So here's the thing about charging these things. You you got Five it. hours later. Yeah. These things are effective, but you really have to do some cranking. Hey, I got I, I want to challenge myself. Okay, now. How are you going to do that? How in the world are you going to be able to charge that? What happens if you was in the woods and something happened to your arm? Well, hey, I still can charge it. There and look. The weather is bad. I can still charge this baby. Yeah, yeah, that's one advantage to this. Regardless of weather, you can still, whether it's day or night. And this does also have a, uh, a solar panel on top of it as well. <laughs> Give me my power! <laughs> Give me one! Right here? It's got lots of functions. It's got a weather radio. It's got, got a light. light. Even though the batteries look completely dead. Oh, hey! Uh-oh. <laughs> <Spaghetti -o. laughs> so one of the things that my experience with the hand crank ones is it's very difficult to find them that are really strong and stuff, but they are effective. It, yeah, they do work time to time. Got it on. Backwards. You got it backwards. There you go. There you go. All right, there we go. Well, this is the uh Animate? Yeah, you read that. Ambient Weather Adventurer Radio. It's a NOAA uh, approved uh, type of radio. South Paul had one of these. She said she would been very, very in trouble if she didn't have one of these. Yeah. So, so South Paul, if you're watching this video, and this might be something you want to watch it uh, to watch and yeah, maybe get into. That's right. Okay, so we looked at two pretty darn good options. Okay, so far. But now, this is the big gun. This is the one I'm super excited about. Let's get a close look. Yeah. This is, without a doubt, let me uh, yeah. get, get some light on the subject. There you go. This is the Biolite wood burning camp stove. That, besides cooking your food and things like that, boiling water, 
this thing will charge your devices we're really excited about this now there, there's been a few videos that I've seen on the internet but we're gonna get in it and take a look for ourselves now again here's the BioLite stove and we're gonna open the box up and let's just see what we have inside now sorry now here we go as you can see it comes in its own nice and tidy stuff set See, they had another one when I was... Instructions? Well, these are accessories, I guess. Yes, huh? that's, this is where you, your charger. Uh, okay. And it's wired to the back. Okay. That's packaging for you. Okay. And we got some uh, lighter starter or so? Yeah, fire starters there. A book. <laughs> Let's see what it's all about. You know what those Look, are. Look, Chinese Pekingese. Dirty knees. Dirty <laughs> knees. All right. Move this out of the way. And here is the BioLite stove. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, by the way, you can put a pot on top of this thing. Wow. Check this out. Okay. It, this item had a pot for it and everything. So, how does this thing <laughs> go together? Yeah, let's... Maybe we need to cut and see if we can get our assemble, assembly or, or something all right be back okay the actual operation we took some time looked at the instructions and uh assembly is nothing to it simply insert this with the heating element into here this thing has some very sturdy legs one thing i love about this stove i can tell you already is this is a very well made quality piece of gear so, let's get it in operation. This, oh also, this is where your USB charging port is, okay? So, we'll go ahead and get this puppy on fire. We're gonna take some, uh, some, uh, TP. some TP <coughs> and get this thing started. You know, That's you, the last of the TP. <laughs> Man, you, I gotta use poison ivory. <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna put some of those uh, little sticks in there and simply, yeah, it's, yeah, I think it's gonna do okay. Add your smaller sticks and twigs and hopefully this thing catches like it should. We shall see. I'll tell you what else I can do is take some more of this. Wrap it around your stick, maybe. Yeah, and uh, or I could have taken one of those uh, fire starter sticks and take this. Let me see if we can push it in there. Fire shouldn't be a problem with this thing. I'll make sure I read the instructions. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You gotta know what you're talking about for sure. Oh look, alien! Look, it's an alien! Jesus! <laughs> So we read the instructions, and I want to show another thing you, you can use to charge your phone, but these are heavy, and once this gets dead, guess what? You got 100 pounds of weight going in your bag, and once you use it up, that's it. That's yeah, it. You got weight. It again. You can't bring this out in the middle of the woods because you don't have a battery. Then again, maybe you do. But one of the good things you could do with this, once you get your BioLite stove going and you charge your other devices, is you could charge this puppy up for immediate power for Current. whenever uh, you're out there in the field. So let's see, it looks like, in spite of everything, that our stove is lighting so we'll uh how about the light is the light showing you see i the light? don't see a light showing yet it probably hasn't reached the temperature yet 
Uh, oh, oh, you're talking about the, the, the yeah, small there's, light. Uh, yeah, there's a little light that says power high or low. Uh, <laughs> it's not showing anything yet. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Oh, oh look gonna, at the fan. Oh, there's a fan that's going to force that dude. Okay. Well, how cool is that? Well, we got a forge now. That's right. Man, that should get that wood just going, too. Add a few more little twigs in here. Well, certainly don't want to put the fire out. I think I may have just done that too. <laughs> Throw some gasoline in it. Yeah. <laughs> First thing I got some more of this cheese back in here. Come on, paper. Let's go. There we go. Now we'll push that down there to the bottom. So we're going to do a little test. I got my cell phone and I got uh, this little light device. I'm going to see if it can pop out some juice. I told you I think Lady Gaga was trying to kill me, huh? <laughs> Why is that? I, I, I just got this feeling. I can't prove it. I don't know where to go to. <laughs> uh, the, the police think I'm crazy. Yeah. All right. Let's see what happens. It looks like they didn't burn that little piece of wood down there at the bottom. No. Maybe turn off the fan because it looks like it's going to blow out the fire. Whoa. That's like high. Good lord. It actually should help with the uh Yeah, but you don't have no other stuff on top of it. Okay. Let's just see what happens. It's out. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you can't turn it off. You cannot turn it off once it it goes to low to high. Huh. Once it, you hit that button and activate it, it's on. So I'm, I'm curious, did it give it charge? Just, let me see something. I'm just going to hold the button yeah. down. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so we held the button down. So we're going to... Okay. There's got to be a way we can do this. We're gonna, all right, guys. This is round two. We got this thing this time. Yeah, buddy. I read the instructions again. You're wrong. This thing put some heat out too, buddy. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's pretty doggone awesome. So, what does the front say? The high low thing? The front says. Let's see. Hey, let's turn it where I can work if it finds yeah. up. Now, that's on low. So, you would have to hit it again. Good lord, look at the fire coming out of that thing. It looks like it's coffee time for you, sir. Yeah, dang sure does. Alright, I'm going to do something. I'm going to plug this little light in. Even though this, this thing has a charge and it's on green already. So, I'm going to plug this baby up. Huh. Oh, shit, that thing gets hot. Holy crap. <laughs> you got to use sticks. Yeah. Be careful. Alright, let's see. Water in the old canteen cup. My God, that thing! I can't believe that. Look at it. Look at the flames. They circle around. Man, get the camera and show that. Like a vortex, like a flaming vortex. Can you see it? Yeah. That is amazing. That is simply amazing. Okay. I'll put a little. Put this on here, see if, well. It says it should take no more than four minutes to boil water. I can believe it. I can definitely believe that. All right, we're waiting for the light to come on. It's not coming on. Well, I wonder if we can charge my phone. Let's show this light here. It's not coming on right now. I 
wonder why. Well, let's find out. Maybe the light burnt out. Let's try the phone and see if it charges. Or maybe it's not hot enough because we just turned the sucker well, over. It's damn sure running that fan. It's doing a good job on that fan. That fan's blowing and going, buddy. I got the wrong plug. Do you? Yeah. Oh, I mean, man. that's weird. It charged it on the... Uh... Alright, just to double check and make sure, I'm going to plug the uh, this charger up and see if it's... Because I don't think you can go right off and charge the phone. Alright, it's charging. Off of that? Yes, so. off this little charger. So, so, so tell me this, it says you got to, it takes 20 minutes to charge. I'm guessing that this is a battery in itself and you got to have the heat burnt going yeah. for 20 minutes to get this strong enough, I guess. So we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to do the test. That's what we're here for, so you don't have to do it. That's awesome. I can't believe the heat that stove makes. It's comparable to like a, uh, a, a gas stove, like a, uh, a isopropane stove, but uh, the fuel that you'll be using is just biodegradable uh, material, twigs and things like that. I'm already starting to get bubbles at the bottom of this. This thing's going to be boiling in no time. Yeah, it, that water's hot enough for me yeah. already. We just put this sucker on here a few seconds ago. Yeah, that's amazing. That is amazing. And no cover on it. Yeah. Um, that it did say it takes 20 minutes to charge, so we're going to find out what it's doing. Let's put a timer on. Let's this is ahead. cool, man. This is cool. I'm going to have to get one of these now, Well, and I ain't kidding. Uh, I hear you. So, South Pole or whoever else is out there, you in the middle of the woods and you need to charge your phone, you charge your camera, or just charge something to get in touch with somebody because of emergency, the ball light. Yeah, yeah. It is awesome. You know what? It does take a, a little bit of fuel, more than I thought. So, I tell you what, while you're doing that, I think I may have to go get some more some more uh, wood burning materials here. We uh, look okay. It's amazing. His water boiled in no time. You couldn't even hold the handle. It was no. so hot. It was like two twenty seconds after we turned. Put it back up the there. Watch him. Oh shit! <laughs> hot. Wait, won't go get my gloves. Don't touch it. There you go. Definitely burn. The burn time is comparable to an isopropane stove. There's no doubt about it. It's very similar. And you don't have to buy any fuel canisters. You don't, you don't have to buy it. Whatever Mother Nature provides you is what you can use for this. And here's a sample. Make sure when you do get a ball light, make sure you add a glove to your kit. Yes. Because yeah, yeah. watch this. It won't take but just a second. And you know, we're not really at full flame strength because, I mean, I mean, the fuels. Yeah. The fuel went down real quick. What the hell? I thought I had some more. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this little piece of cardboard in there. Does that count? Yeah, that's right. Burn it. <laughs> okay. All right. Watch this. Wow. Oh, my God. Now I just messed that up. Oh, be careful. Be careful. This little bitch is so freaking hot. Oh, my God. I mean, you put that in there, it's shit. <laughs> it's just going to turn it'll, it'll brand you, man. It'll burn slap through that glove, man. I Ooh. shit you not. Ooh. Let me see. That is some hot stuff. Yeah, it is. Look. All right. Dang it. <laughs> Good God. Sure, Jaha. Yeah. Let's just, I'll tell you what, take that thing off and let's see if the canteen couple sit up there without it. Yeah. All right, well, let's use it as fuel real quick. There you go. There you go. There you go, shit. We didn't need that thing. When it comes with it, it was a little, uh... You can see yeah. me getting some smoke, so <laughs> there it is. Well, 
You're gonna have to grab it, buddy, because that there's no way I can grab it. Oh no, no, that's why I got clothes on. Look, the water is already boiled yeah. over it's, a piece of cardboard. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy how fast it, it just incinerates stuff down to nothing, to complete and utter nothing. You won't have anything left in this thing but very white ash. It's just amazing. All right, um, Uncle Ranger. <clears throat> yeah, we find out that it takes a lot of wood to charge your battery. It does. And it's amazing how much heat it put, puts out. So we're going to do that. We're, we're going to show you the, the bowl again. Yeah. Since we got more firewood, that's going to be going in about five minutes. Yeah. Hey, do me a favor. See that little pouch there? Reach in there and see if you can get me some uh, Cafe Robusto. And there should be a Look at this too. pretty little item here. <laughs> it's the Donnie Polanini. <laughs> El Cafe Sexo Robusto. And there's a cup in there too. The Green Cup Society. That's it. That's it. All right. So I'm gonna get ready. Look at the flames! I got a, uh, I got a forge here. You do. You really do. It's amazing. I make sure you add a glove to this thing, cause you you do not. Oh my God! Yeah. You gonna be sorry. You need to add You're a glove. Right. Big time. Big time. To your I, kid. I think I've got some gloves in there somewhere. You I need just... a heavy duty type. Yeah, like some mechanics gloves or something. Let's see. Man, that's all gone. I mean, it shoots the fire out of that. That's on slow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Should be glowing in probably 30 seconds. It'll be boiling like hell. There it goes. Watch how, yeah. how much, watch how, it's like. It's a wicked boil too, man. Man, that'll take your skin off. You ain't kidding. Well, if you have any bears in your camp, just keep boiling water there, around and throw that on them. There you go. Look, it's so hot, it's moving the cup. Shape, yeah. Oh, it's gonna tip over. There you go. Tell you what I'm gonna have to do, man. Yeah, there ain't no way in hell I'm gonna be able to drink that hot ass coffee. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to put something in. You want me to put another stick in? Yeah, put some sticks in there and see what happens. Look at the flame. This it's amazing. And so it's far, it's nice. not charging my phone. It's still not charging. No, it's just weird. And just to make sure it's not the machine or so, we'll plug this in and see what happens. Yep, it's charging. Well, what the hell? I'm curious what's going on. No, that, that ain't good. No, that's not good. But let's that see. takes 20 minutes. Let's see, uh oh, let's see the instructions. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you say, Ranger? I think this is a piece of, I can say, crap. <laughs> As of right now, it is. Undoubtedly, we, this one has to be a manufactured defect going on here because we, it's just not charging. See, look, here's a power cell we had earlier, and I plugged it, my phone in, and bam, my phone comes on. It says it's being charged. Right. So I'm going to try it. The manual says to hold the day. I'm going to turn it off. All right, and hold it for three seconds, like the manual said. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, and usually it's supposed to cut on after I hold it a few seconds. Right. And so far, this thing's not charging like we we want it to charge. All right, I'm plugging it in, and nothing. The phone's not even cutting on. No charge. We have this light here. I'm gonna plug it into this battery cell. It's I got working it. great. Working great. So it should work great in this. Folks, there's only one way to hook this thing up. It's impossible to hook it up wrong. I mean, there's no way you could, anybody could possibly hook this thing up wrong. And no light. 
No light, no charging and this whatsoever. Is, and here's the, the, the light, the, the core to come with, so... Yeah, and we've, been, we've had this fire going. I know the fire's died down now, but we've been burning a hard fire for at least 25 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. A hard fire. Yeah, I'd leave it on there. That way it'll accelerate that burn, at least, you know, burn everything down. But, uh, unfortunately, I, I was really, really, and I know you were, yeah. looking I'm forward to, uh... Just cut it on by itself. Yeah. Let's find out. That's what it says it's supposed to do? Yeah. Nope, nothing. No. I'm supposed to call the manufacturer to find out what's going on with it. Yeah. So... I hate to be somebody who bought this thing and go in the middle of the woods to try it out then. Isn't that the truth? That's exactly <laughs> right. Yeah. Do your test before you go out in the middle of the woods. Oh. It, it, on. it just takes a while. It's going to take a lot of cranking. It's not even charging. That's a young man's game. <laughs> <laughs> you leave me alone, did you, boy? <laughs> All right, let's see if it's uh, maybe it's. Oh shit! Well, Man, this is this is like a puzzle. Man, yeah. go in the middle of the woods with a bunch of pieces. Oh, I lost a piece you need. This is what I was talking about. This is what you need. That's your micro USB. Ah, there it is. And it's gonna plug into the. Let's see your your apparatus there. <clears throat> it's going to plug in right here. Now, mm -hmm. plug in your phone. It's not plugged in. <laughs> you you got to plug it. Oh, oh, I got you. Okay, my bad. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. Yeah, well, sorry. Uh, so you have to make sure you buy the right attachments for this to it. This uh, <laughs> device. Good lord. <laughs> Here we go. You can take this. Wait a minute. You sure you got the right one? Oh, here you go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's not it either. Hey, we can see if we can charge the uh, light up. There you go. There you Come go. On. There you Come go. On. Yeah. yeah, you're cooking. We got red beans and rice. Wait a minute. That's the wrong plug. Yeah. It's not working either. So I'll probably die! <laughs> oh man, that stinks. I know. Imagine all this equipment you bring it out in the middle of the woods and you and it. it that really sucks. Don't yeah. I'm, All the parts and pieces. Make sure you get your wires too. For your equipment. I give up. Yeah, look at all these. These crazy pieces that come in this thing. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Man, I'm glad I went through this before I said, yeah, I'm going to take out my bug out yeah. bag and charge up my phone. That's right. That's <laughs> exactly right. Boy, so I'm kind of glad I went through this thing. I got to find all kinds of attachments to charge up my phone. <laughs> wow. Well, Ranger, we tried, my man. We tried. All right, there you go. I, I finally got the piece. Let's see. All right. Oh, it's working. Oh, is it? Awesome. All right, we'll take me sure. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. Nope. Came on for a reason, but it's not moving the uh, battery bar. It may take it a little while. It's got to be a wire you can connect to it, though. That's horrible. Imagine it's charging, but not as fast as this thing will. That's right. Well, this is a good video. We want, we want to talk about the, the options of charging your phones and devices. And we thought the bowl light would beat them all. But somehow, manufacturing. Yeah, yeah. You got a lemon there. And I bought three cars like that already. Oh, my gosh. So, folks, before you go out with all your equipment, make sure you have the proper wires and gear for your phones or your whatever you use in your radio, your electronics. Before you go in the middle of the woods with all this stuff and find out you're missing this one of the pieces.
Yeah. One little piece might save your freaking life. <laughs> That's right. That's exactly right. Alright. I think me and Dinah is a little hungry. Yeah. I, we're going to go no, show us eat. That's right. So uh, we're going to wrap this up. We're going to say um, the flaws and different things. Pass me the uh, chargeable. You, uh, the, uh, yes, sir. Now, I know for a fact this worked before it came out here. I tested it. I'm like, this does, this thing works. Yeah. So I put it in the sun and it does charge or light. Well, I'm Ranger Kuki. Me and Donnie just did a test of that stove. Lucky, unlucky for us, we forgot to read, read the instructions very well. Well, I did. It says you got to put your machine, the bowl light, on your computer or your some type of charger to charge the battery so I did that so I'm going to make another video is coming up next after this video about the bowl light let's see if we get it right see you next video